No way. Damn. Ever? Yeah. Took a Pro Bowl to make it. <laughs> I'll probably share the world what snapping's really like. What is it really like? Best job out there, probably. <laughs> I could say a lot of other things, but yeah, no. Nah. Nah. Job out there was like you're you're basically known as somebody or something. Yeah, I guess that's part of the job, right? Um, it's part of the preparation, the stress, the stepping up on game day to do it when, you know, we always kind of joke around with guys that see us living the life, you know, on the third field by ourselves. And they always got something to say about, oh, it must be nice. We're like, I mean, you could do it too if you want to do it on game day, but I think they're all pretty happy with their jobs. How would you characterize that? Because when we were talking to Jason, you know, he's, he's saying, obviously you need to be flat line. Yeah, that was like guess one of the first things that I was told early on in snapping was you can't ride the highs or the lows and it's really just I'm sure that those guys probably said it it's just one kick at a time one snap at a time that um, if you're too high something you're gonna try too hard if you get too low and you start overthinking um, stuff something will go bad it's really just you know, preparation through the week, preparation and practice. It's something now that we've done a million times that um, you just go out and, and trust, you know, how you've prepared and be ready. You mentioned the three of you doing your own thing. And what's that, I mean, you guys have been together now for three years. What's that relationship like between the three of you all the time together? Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's great on and off the field. Um, Coming in now with with us being together for a few years in a row here, it's been um, it's been really nice for our operation. Just you build chemistry off each other. You know cues and um, timing and rhythm. Um, something that I went through not having my first couple years here, going from having a new kicker, then a new kicker, and then a new kicker and punter, and then back, and then me and Jason and Michael now uh, being together for a while. It, it makes it, for us, it's a, it's a huge comfort, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word. Coming in knowing that what to expect. And on game day, we know that if I'm not snapping my best game, then you know I got Dixon and Jason to make up for it. And the, and the same goes the other way, that if someone's not having a great day, that we're just there and we can kind of feed off each other's um, how everybody's doing that day. If you could play any other position, what would it be? I mean, I guess I would just go back to playing tight end. Um, back to my you know glory days in college, catching passes, scoring touchdowns. Yeah. No. <laughs> I got a good job. Man. <laughs> uh, I was snapping. Basically, when I started playing tight end, I started snapping. Um, it was like sixth, what sixth grade, going into seventh grade. Um, my special teams coach in high school was the first one that really started teaching me the, the fundamentals of snapping. Um, and I just put, I snapped along with playing tight end ever since high school. Um, funny story, when I was getting recruited to Harvard, I sent my film in as a snapper and as a tight end. Um, and our first day of practice, they were telling the snappers to go out early with the kickers. And I was like, you guys want me to go out there with you or not? And they're like, we didn't even know you could snap. Uh, so then obviously went out and snapped with them for my, for three years there, and then I I don't know. Coach coaches change over. I don't know what happened, but is there any sort of community of long snappers? Like, do you, do you know other long snappers from other teams? Yeah, it's a pretty tight get, tight tight knit group. Yeah, um, I mean, there's only 32 of each of us on every team, so um, kicker, punter, snapper, each of us. So you you play against each other enough, especially in the division, or you work out with guys in the off season if they live around you. So you get to know them pretty well. Um, you know, you got time during warm-ups and stuff to kind of catch up and chit-chat and um, pick each other's brains. So yeah, it's it's a I mean I guess a fraternity if you could if you could call it something. Um, mutual respect for each other. Yeah. Who's uh, who's long snapping? Do you really admire? Uh, I'm not sure about that question. No, I. I learned a lot, so I, I spent an off. I spent played one game for the Giants in a training camp with them with Zach Deossi, um two-time Super Bowl champ with the Giants, and um, I learned a lot from him. 
how to be professional, how to snap, mentality, approach to the game. Um, good friends with him, and that's probably where, you know, he's not playing anymore. He's retired now, but where I first, I don't know, my first, like, experience with another snapper in the league that I was competing with for that job at the time and just how to be a pro and, and how to approach the job. Uh, snap speed from for for punt uh, from when the ball moves to when Dixon catches it, um, and then just strike strike box consistency, hitting Dixon's hip below the shoulders, below the knee or above the knees, um, and then for field goal it's just it's always about location is important, but if you can get laces out, it makes the hold really easy. So. Um, I kind of always approach my job as making Dixon and Jason's job as easy as it can be, and that's a successful day for me. You mentioned you got to the Pro Bowl last year. As a staffer, I mean, is there something like was it your best year, or how do you how do you gauge that? Like, yeah, I think yeah, I think it was. I think I had a handful of good years before that, but I think last year everything was with all, with all of us was really clicking. You know, I think um, I think easy, we easily all could have been in the Pro Bowl last year if um, you know. Uh, Jack Fox in Detroit had an unbelievable year, and then uh, Young Hoku in, in Atlanta just had so many opportunities to kick field goals um, that both of those guys, Jason and Dixon, put up numbers that could have been a Pro Bowl if it was another year. So I think once we're all when we're all clicking together like that, and it goes back to the consistency of year after year having um, the three of us together. I think it you know it helps us perform and be comfortable doing well. We just, I mean, we really just need to continue what was happening last year. Uh, in a lot of ways, we kind of just lined up and said, we're going to do this, and we want you to try and stop us. Um, you know, we got a lot of good guys coming back for us in our special teams core. Uh, with, you got Izzo coming back, special teams coordinator this year, you know, bringing his, his experience as a player and as a coach, you know, one of the special teams greats, um, coming back and showing guys how to do it as a player and as a coach now. And, um, just keeping the mentality from last year, you know, competing with each other, having fun doing it on special teams, bringing the energy. Um, we always talk about that. Um, just it doesn't have to be pretty as long as you're giving 100 percent effort and our guys are going down there and just flying around and making plays. That's how good stuff happens on special teams. First, I guess Booker T. Washington didn't want to recruit me. Uh, <laughs> Can't recruit in high school. <laughs> You're not supposed to, at least. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Oklahoma is the roots, man, right? Like, uh, started playing football from as long, young as I could be, playing flag, going up to tackle football, um, part of your life. Um, back, you know, grew up with great high school coaches. Well, mighty might. To high school coaches, growing up with them, and great programs. You know, playing playing high school football in, in Oklahoma, I think, really made my transition to college pretty easy. I don't know if you could say the same thing about going from Booker T to K State, but um, yeah, I mean, it's I live in Massachusetts now, and I've seen some high school football up there, and I just kind of makes me look back at what football was like down in Oklahoma. So um, I don't get back there as often as I'd like to, but um, yeah. We did a couple times. We were most years we were in different divisions, but we scrimmaged a couple times. And then what was it? Uh, is that your senior year? You guys in five A back then? You were still in five A. Your school played with Trey Brown. He was our, Tulsa Union's our rival, backyard bowl rival. We was five. We beat him in scrimmages, though. You guys good? Thank you, Adam.